This is Lori Sonkin with WRFI Radio News. On August the 26th, there was a forum at GIAC for candidates running for Ithaca City Judge. The three candidates on the Democratic ballot are Rick Wallace, Christine Shaw, and Seth Peacock. Wallace and Peacock are also on the Working Family Party Party's ballot. No Republicans are running. Following the public forum, the three candidates were asked why they are running for Ithaca City Judge and why they are qualified for the position. Here's how they answered. Hi, so uh, yes, I'm Rick Wallace. I'm a candidate for Ithaca City Court Judge. And the reason I'm running, frankly, is because several members of the community from different parts of the community approached me and said, we need a judge candidate that has more experience than the others that are applying for the job. Uh, we know that you have experience in issues of addiction and recovery. There was one constituency that's deeply involved in that that knows my work. Another constituency that's involved in civil rights matters and civil rights litigation that knows my work. And another constituency uh, involving helping people who are in local jail for local crimes be restored and reentered into their community. And so these three or four various groups all got together and decided that I was the guy. And when they approached me and explained to me why they thought that I could do the most good by far of any candidate, they convinced me. And so I'm prepared to give up my private practice, which is doing quite well, frankly, for the next 10 years if I'm elected Ithaca City Court Judge. So my name's Christine Shaw, and um, there's several reasons why I'm running. It's been a process to actually get to this place to decide to be um, a candidate for Ithaca City Court Judge. One of the things is that um, for years now, I've been on the assigned council panel, and I started doing mentoring um, years ago. And as time has progressed, that's become a bigger and bigger piece of what I do with my days. And I've found that over time, I've been doing more of it officially and unofficially, frankly. And through that process, I've, I came to understand that I had more to offer to the community than I was currently um, providing. And um, the judge seemed a logical step for that. I also have a, a history of 20 years now of working in human rights and dedicating my you know, professional life to service. And this is a service position, and I'd be honored to have it. And the final thing that really affected me was that when Judge Rossiter resigned, it meant that there were not going to be any women representing um, or sitting on the benches in anywhere in city court, in not city court, but in the city. And there are several courts that that affects. And um, I, I have a problem with that. We're 50% of the population and ridiculously underrepresented. And when I was taught when I was growing up that you have an issue with something like that, you speak your mind, you uh, stand up, and so here I am. As far as qualifications go, I've been an attorney for 12 years. I spent that entire time um, representing individuals who either couldn't afford attorneys or um, youth as a law guardian or um, what they now call the Attorneys for Children program. Um, and, I've, and I said that this 20-year history, I've worked with people with disabilities. My, my undergraduate's in social work. And from there, I went into work with people with disabilities. I did um, welfare rights work, welfare advocacy work. Um, worked with the Human Rights Commission. I worked at Cornell with a group when I was in law school, um, an organization there that did uh, the Gender, Sexuality, and Family Group, which did um, work on uh, the legal issues, so dealing with the actual law itself in those issues. And then now I do environmental work because uh, my kids taught me that environmental work is actually human rights work too. Didn't get that at first, but sometimes they're smarter than we are. Um, so I think that, that I am qualified. I've got the experience on the drug court, um, the experience uh, working in the human rights field, um, 12 years of experience representing under, underrepresented po populations. Um, I think I have the knowledge and the compassion and frankly the passion that's needed to be judge. Thank you. My name is Seth Peacock. I'm the Ithaca City Court judge. Uh, my qualifications are that I've been a practicing attorney for um, 14 years now. I graduated from Cornell Law School, and I've been uh, appointed um, by Mayor Savante Myrick to be the interim Ithaca City Court judge. My hopes are to create programs 
that enhance the relationships between the community and the court. For example, I'm hoping to bring a youth court program to city court, and I'm also hoping to establish a uh, probation uh, mentorship program where people who are assigned to probation will have to also report to a community mentor who can help them with the um, some of the more basic things in life like job issues, family issues, and substance abuse issues. You just heard the three candidates running in the September 9th Democratic and Working Family primary for Ithaca City Judge. The three candidates are Rick Wallace, Christine Shaw, and Seth Peacock. It's too late to register to vote for the September 9th primary, but there's still time to register to vote in the general election on November the 4th. For more information, contact the Tompkin County, Tompkins County Board of Elections at 607-274-5522. Thanks for listening. This is Lori Sonkin with WRFI Radio News.